Hi guys, it's Brooke. So I figured since I shared with you in my last video that I have sort of oily acne prone skin that I would go ahead and also share with you my skin routine and keep in mind this is just what works for me since I have oily acne prone skin. It has taken me a good three or four years to find the products that really really work for me and I also went to a dermatologist and she put me on a antibiotic to help clear up the bacteria because you can use as many um, products as you think are going to work for you but if you're just getting the stuff that's on the surface of your skin it's not going to get the bacteria that's underneath and also keep in mind I'm not a dermatologist I'm not an esthetician I'm not a doctor so just take my advice for what it's worth so first of all um, at night, to get my makeup off, I use these Pond's um, Soft White Kaolin Clay towelettes to get all of my makeup off because there are too many times that I'm just like, you know what, I'm really lazy and I fall asleep in bed before I take my makeup off and that's probably the worst thing that you can do for your skin. So these are a lifesaver because it takes literally two seconds to get your makeup off and then you're done and then you can go crash. Another product that I found that works really well after I use that, I use this Origins Checks and Balances face wash and it helps keep the um, the good oil in my skin and get rid of the dirt impurities because I do have dry patches right around my cheeks and my jawline but my T-zone can be super oily and that's usually where I break out. So this product is phenomenal. It's non-comedogenic, oil-free, paraben-free, all that jazz. And then if I am breaking out, because, you know, it's that time of the month and I need a little extra help, I use the um, St. Ives Blemish Control Scrub. And I have heard that this can be kind of harsh on your skin because it is a grittier scrub as opposed to more of the finer uh, sugar and salt scrubs that you could use on your face. But I haven't had any problems with this. Granted, I only use it once a week, once every other week when my face really needs it. So, and this one is also paraben-free. The next thing that I use is this Shine Free Moisturizer from the brand Formula 10.0.6. I just got this at Walgreens, but I know for a fact that they also carry this at Ulta, and they carry a wider selection of this brand at Ulta than they do at Walgreens, so keep that in mind. Um, this product is phenomenal for keeping your skin really really matte and shine free. The only problem that I really have with it is it's really really super um, liquidy if that makes any sense. It's not really a dense moisturizer so when you go to squeeze this out of the tube be very very careful. I would honestly hold it like this and squeeze it out because if you tip it over it's just gonna get everywhere and then you're gonna have a tube moisturizer on your counter and that's just a mess and no one wants that, right? Um, at nighttime, I use this Avalon Organics Vitamin C Moisturizer. Now, I know this says SPF 15. And you're thinking, why would you put an SPF 15 moisturizer on when it's nighttime? I just really like this one because it's heavier, but it's not as heavy as some of the other nighttime creams that I have tried that are just too moisturizing for my skin and I wake up in the morning looking like grease ball and it's just not cute. The other product that I have found is phenomenal, and you've probably heard several people review this, is Bioderma. And, you guys, it's not available in the U.S. I got this bottle on Amazon. This is the smallest size. I think it was around $9 or so. It's just amazing. It takes your makeup off. It acts like a toner. It doesn't dry your skin out. Once I started using this in conjunction with the antibiotic that my dermatologist put me on, my skin was completely clear within about three weeks. I kid you not. And granted, I do have, you know, a couple hormonal breakouts right now, but it's that time of the month, like I said. So, I would highly, highly, highly recommend if you're going to try out any of the products that I have recommended, just try this first because... It's, it's not that expensive, especially for this bottle. I think the bigger bottles run between 19 and 22 on Amazon. You can also get it on eBay, 
but it, it's just this product, I, I can't even, I should probably do a whole review on this product or I'm going to end up rambling for days because that's how much I love it. And it doesn't have like a, like a super chemical smell like a lot of the other products that are kind of similar to this are. And I can't even say that there's products similar to this because it's like a toner and a moisturizer and a makeup remover all rolled into one and it's just... It's amazing. And the last thing, which is the priciest of the bunch, is the Clarisonic Mia. And I had been waffling on getting this for a while just because it is so expensive and you have to replace the brushes every three months and that's an added expense. And you know what? This is probably one of the best investments that I have made and I can't even say that I made the investment, my mom purchased it for me, so thank you mom, best ever. And it's just, it gets all of the dirt off, it adds um, to also be an exfoliant, it, get, it just gets everything off. And after using it for about two weeks, it also helped with clearing breakouts, and my skin's been a lot softer, and it's just awesome. Another couple tips I would really, really suggest don't go to bed with hairspray in your hair because it will get on your pillowcases and the hairspray will get on your face and it will clog your pores. Um, the second thing I would also really, really suggest, wash your pillowcases every five days. And that's probably going to seem crazy, but just, just trust me. It's a really, really good idea. I started doing that and I've noticed an improvement. Um, if you don't feel like washing them every five days, just get extra pillowcases and switch out your pillowcases every five days. You know what I mean? It's It seems like an investment, but I promise you it's it's totally worth it. And once again, I would like to say that I'm sorry for the lighting. It's about five o'clock right now. I was going to film earlier, but I kind of got distracted with putting up Christmas decorations. And we all know how that goes. And last thing, I would really like to thank each and every one of you that has subscribed to my channel. This is my third video. As you can tell, I'm still getting used to it. But I would really like to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed, who has commented, who has liked my videos, who has followed me on Twitter, which by the way, I will link my Twitter, my Instagram, and a bunch of other social media jazz in the down bar below. But I would really just like to thank every one of you because without your support I wouldn't be where I am and granted I do have 13 subscribers it's not like I'm one of those people that has hundreds and thousands of subscribers but still you every single one of you mean a lot to me so I would really like to thank you for that and until next time I'll see you guys later bye